one example that's usually helpful for me is the analogy of like a house with a with a leaky roof. Right. Right. So you have it's dripping and dripping and dripping. And then you put a bucket underneath it to catch this water. The leak picks up. Next thing you know, the buckets are overflowing. And at some point, someone who has sense in the house says, we need to get rid of these buckets because they're like, it's mess everywhere. It's not working on the leak. And abolitionists are trying to figure out, well, why is the house leaking in the first place, Got it. right? And the police are kind of like the buckets, except buckets don't kill people. They're kind of like the buckets. People are like, you want to take buckets out of my house? This is going <laughs> to flood. It's going to smell like mildew. It's going to be messy. And we're like, no, 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 no. We don't want your house to flood. We want the roof to stop leaking. And it's going to take much more to stop that roof from leaking mm -hmm. than it is just to keep replacing buckets, buying buckets, getting different colors of buckets. Mm -hmm. That's, there's only so much we can do with that because buckets were not intended to stop leaks. 